Happy Friday the 13th, traders. Is the horror show going to be your portfolio or the market? I guess we'll have to stay tuned and find out. But your cherry bomb trade is in for today. And it's our good old ATM IWM, which has a liquidity rank of 4 out of 4, an IV rank of 26 right now. And by the way, it has a high, cor strong correlation to the SPY. I believe it's like a 0.8 correlation. Um, so if the SPY is moving up, you can almost guarantee that the IWM will be moving with it. And conversely, the opposite is true too, right? So we're looking at another long put vertical, which was our alternative trade for yesterday in Goldman Sachs. I'm wondering, did you put that trade on? Which trade did you put on? Did you go with the bullish trade or the bearish one? For me, the bearish one is the one that's been working out. But maybe today it'll feel some pain, right? Uh, so anyway, before we get actually into the platform, I just want to make this request. You know, we like to do, I like to do viewer suggested trades on Monday and you have today, tomorrow and Sunday to send me an email. Head on over to optiontheory.com forward slash contact or just leave a comment in the video below. Just give me a ticker symbol. That's fine. I'll come up with a trade or if you have a trade idea, um, I'd take that too. Love to hear from you. Uh, yeah, with that, let's hop into uh, a platform and build out this trade. You know what? Let's let's hop into the uh, Thinkorswim platform because that's our, our bread and butter, right? But first, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Neil. This is Option Theory, and I'm uh, going to go a little faster than normal. Okay, so I'm going to skip the please subscribe and all that stuff. <laughs> all right, everybody. So we're looking at IWM on on the chart right now, and I think you and I could agree we could be a little bit bearish on this one right once again we're getting two out of three bearish signals here um now with that being said you can look over here and the horror show is definitely not the market right now russell's up a percent um well yeah so pretty much a lot of green on the screen except for volatility and bonds right uh, and oil feeling a little pain today but uh, I have to thank oil. It has come up quite a bit recently and helped my position in uh, my Tastyworks account. So yeah, all right, cool. Anyway, I'm going to be a little bearish on this one, even though I know that today it's going to move against me. And we'll take a look at the original cherry bomb trade, and then we're going to look at, once again, an alternative. But we'll do so, hopefully, quickly. So here we have, yesterday I got a comment from one of my viewers letting me know that when I pull Tastyworks up, it's basically, you can't see it on your screen. Um, so what I'm going to do, what I did is I increased the zoom level inside of Tastyworks to its maximum of 120%. So hopefully that'll be enough. I'm going to pull that up now because this is where I have the original trade pulled up. This is the cherry bomb as it was sent to us. Uh, link in the description below. Go sign up. It's not for me. It's Stacy Street. There you go. I did that faster, right? Okay. So here it is. You're going to buy the 171 put and uh, sell the 169 call, giving you a 48% uh, percent probability of profit with a P50 of 63 Naturally, this is a negative delta trade. We will benefit if I do WM goes down, which it's not going to do today. Uh, well, at least not at the beginning of the day, right? So here we are uh, with this trade. Now, <clears throat> not a big fan of this one, particularly when you see the fact that like, okay, look, it's bid ask is 171 right now, right? When you look at the email that you get from Tasty Trade, you'll see that the bid ask back then was 169, a little bit north than 169. And so this worked out better. All right. Well, let's go back into uh, Thinkorswim, right? Where we build out our portfolio of trades, simulated trades. And here's what I have pulled together. I'm going to go back to this tab here. Seeing now that the at the money here is the 171 or just, just out of the money is the 171, right? I would sell this one and buy the 173. So that's what I have here. I have a long 173 put. And I have a short 171 put. And I'm, I'm wondering right now, am I totally, is the audio peaking? Because I swear my kids must mess with my microphone while I'm at work. <laughs> All right, maybe if I back up it like this, I'm still peaking. All right. Anyway, um, moving on. This is the trade I think that works out better, especially when you look at the risk profile here. Instead of having a 48% probability of profit, we're having a 53% probability of profit on this one. 
So yay, I think that's the trade I'm gonna go for. So you have an alternative here. This one, you could stay with the original probabilities, but uh, yeah, so let's go back to Tastyworks and dial those in, right? So I'm just gonna hit strikes down. And here it's saying it's 52% with a 63p50 on that one, right? Um, I think these numbers are a little off. As you can see, we're getting, I think, a little bit more accurate numbers right now in uh, Thinkorswim. But we'll see, right? It'd be interesting to compare the two. All right. If this audio stinks, I do not have the time to fix it today. I really am sorry. But I do appreciate that you came by and watched. So until I see you next week, by the way, here's your thumbs up for watching this far. I always like to do that because if you make it this far, you deserve something. I can't give you anything else. Boom. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. I'll see you next week in our first, hopefully, um, trade of the week will be a viewer-suggested trade. Bye for now.